nothing that people love more than cock coin tricks. Coin tricks. Nothing that people love more than coin tricks, which is why today I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a hot, hot coin trick you could do anytime, anywhere with just a handful of change. So uh, th there's going to be more advanced handling on uh, Patreon because I am a shill piece of shit. But you should go check that out if you want a more advanced handling uh, here of this particular effect. So here we have the actual trick here that we have a handful of change that we just throw on the table. So for those of you that are not from the uh, continental United States of America, this is what's known as uh, as money. Uh, this is what, what money looks like. So uh, you tell the spectator to uh, take out a handful of change, drop it on the table and you're ready to go. You tell them that you're going to turn your back here and uh, you're going to say flip. And every time you say the word flip, they, they get one coin and they turn it the opposite direction. So you're going to turn around and they're going to flip as many times as you tell them to. As a matter of fact, you can say flip. They use, they turn over a coin. You say flip. They turn over another coin. You tell a spectator, hey, sir, do you want me to, you want to flip one more time? They're going to say, yeah, because you know what? They want to be involved too. So they, they flip a coin here. And then ultimately when you're done, you tell them to put their dirty little hands on top of whichever coin they want and hide it so that you can't see it. So they, they do that. You turn around. You see this whole situation. You, you say, you know, fuck the coins. Fuck your couch, nigga. <laughs> Buy another one, you rich motherfucker. We don't need the coins here. All we need is just your, your mind and my mind working together. Because I could tell, surprisingly, a lot of things. I could tell that the coin, sir, underneath your hand is, is, is face down. It's tails up. That, that's what I'm going for here. And, of course, they, um, they reveal the fact that the coin is, in fact, uh, t tails up. And you could repeat this uh, again. You could repeat this again. So the spectator, you know, turns over coins. You turn around. You say flip. They're turning coins over. They cover their hand uh, over whatever coin they want. You turn around and you say, oh, you know what? How about this? How about you just um, scream it at me, sir? Scream it. If it's heads up, scream heads up. If it's uh, tails up, scream tails up just in your head. Oh, oh, I'm getting. Yeah, it's definitely heads up. And guess what? Lo and behold, it's fucking heads up. Oh boy, everyone goes home happy, wet, moist, and Martin Gardner decides to come back from the grave and and um, and just fuck everyone. Whoa, oh, man, Co coins, that's hot, that's where it's at. That's what's gonna get all the, the fucking views, coin magic, holy shit. God fucking damn it. So here's a great idea from a Old person that I wish I met named Martin Gardner, if you didn't guess it from the um, the little zombie zombie joke there. Martin Gardner is a great mathematician, magician, a uh, great all-around uh, heterosexual male, uh, invested heavily into the art and craft of mathematical magic and its principles. Now, here is one of those many principles and one of these uh, tricks that I think is very underrated in the world of mathematical magic, and I really haven't seen it done often. I've only seen it done in, in kitty magic books. So it's a hard hitter. It's one of those hard hitting magic tricks that people gloss over because they're like, oh, wow, that's a little bit too complicated. I can't count numbers. Well, this isn't complicated at all, as you're gonna see. Again, I mentioned that there's gonna be a more advanced handling of this, kind of like as a little bit of an after afterthought me uh, method on Patreon, if you wanna check that out, if you. Check the description below. It says pig cake. Uh, sorry, it says patreon.com slash pig cake. I almost said pig cake dot me. That's the other thing that I shill. You should check that out. Five minus two project is hot, hot and ready. All right. So that's enough for the shilling here. This is what you need. You need a handful of change here. Um, it doesn't matter uh, how many coins. It doesn't matter what coins there are. All that it matters is that it, the faces and the tails are clearly visible. I don't know if you've been around enough. But there are some coins that are so dirty that you can't tell if they're face up or face down because they've been inside the anuses of a uh, uh, homeless Vietnamese hooker. So you want to make sure that you have coins that are visible, um, that the heads are visible and the tails are visible. So then what you do, you have the spectator come in there and drop a handful of change on the table. What you're doing cleverly is that you are counting how many heads you see. So right now, if you could see by the, the clever autofocus of this camera, uh, you could tell that there's one, two, three, four heads, meaning that that is my starting position here. That is my starting count, four. So I, I count how many heads there are before I turn around. And then 
I give the instruction to the spectator that every time I say the word flip, they flip a coin. The way this was written up was that the spectator has the decision to flip over the coins as many times as they want. And every time they flip a coin, they shout flip. I don't like that. I like the idea of me telling the spectator, okay, flip. Seems a little bit more uh, fair that way. And it's less instruction to the spectator who already probably is under enough complex to put out a small village in Africa. So your task before turning around is to count how many heads and keep that as a running tally in your head. So right now there are four heads. So I'm going to turn around knowing that there are four face up heads. Every time I say the word flip, I'm going to add one to this running tally. So because I determine how many flips I want, I'm just going to do four just for the sake of me being lazy and not wanting to do a lot of math here. So I turn around and I tell the spectator flip, they flip whichever coin they want. I tell them flip again. They flip whatever coin they want. Again, in my head, I'm adding two uh, right now because I've said flip twice. So right now my running total is six. That's right. I say flip again. Now it's seven. I say flip again. Now it's eight. Oh boy, hard math. So now the spectator is told to put their hand and cover whichever coin they want and, and remove it from the pile. So when they do this, the spectator is going to be covering one coin at random. Now here's the thing. The total in my head now is eight, which is an even number. That tells me that when I turn around, there needs to be an even amount of heads up coins on the table. That's what that tells me. So with that bit of information, if I turn around and I count how many heads there are, if there's an odd number of heads, that tells me that the spectator's coin has to be face up because that needs to, there needs to be an even total amount of coins on the table. So if I count right now, let's see the situation. There's one, two, three, four, five. There are five coins with the heads up, which means that this coin has to be face up because there needs to be an even amount of coins that are face up on the table. Yeah, you understand? You see that before the, your, your running tally in your head right now is eight, right? Which is an even number. Well, that's, that's understood. I hope, I hope that's clear. So let's pretend in this situation that they covered a coin that is tail side up. So let's see what happens. We turn around, the running total in our head is eight, which is even, which tells us that there needs to be, that's right, an even number of coins on the table, right? So we see there's one head, two head, three head, four head, ha ha, five head, and six. So that tells us that there is an even number of coins that we see on the table, right? So the assumption here is that if this coin is face up, which it can't be because your running total is eight and you see an even number of coins on the table, it has to be tail side up because there, there's no other way that it could be. Does that, it, I, it makes sense. It makes sense if you think about it for longer than two seconds. Let's run through another scenario here. So the coins are, uh, they're, they're here on the table. Right before we turn around, there happens to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Once again, let's, for the, let's say for the sake of uh, explanation now that there are five coins that are face up before we turn around. So we tell the spectator, flip, they flip again, that's six. They flip again, that's seven. They flip again, that's eight. They flip again, that's nine. Let's keep it there. They cover whichever hand they want. And now the running total is odd, right? And they covered this coin, which happens to be face up. So how do we know that this coin is going to be face up? Well, the running total in our head now is what? Is nine, right? So we turn around, we count how many heads there are. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. Because the running total in our head now is nine, and that's an odd number, we know that there has to be an odd number of coins face up on the table, right? But because we count the coins right now and they happen to be even, they happen to be even, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, we know that because their total has to be odd, this one has to be a coin that's face up to make the total odd. Yeah, yeah. It sounds more complicated than it is. When you break it down, it's easy. And all you have to do is if the running total in your head is even, there needs to be an even amount of coins on a table. So you could do the math when you turn around and see how many coins are heads up. If the running total in your head is odd, then guess what? When you turn around, there needs to be an odd number of heads on the table. So if you see an even number here, this one has to be the one that is face up to make the total odd. 
That's, uh, that's, I mean, that's a trick. It sounds a lot more complicated than it is. It's a very easy trick once you get the principle. However, it is a very easy thing to understand if you just play around. Just grab some coins, play around with it for a little bit, and you'd understand it. Hopefully, I did it justice with the explanation. If you want to see a little bit more of a hot advanced handling, you should check that out on Patreon. Uh, I'm going to go figure out different ways to try to ingest a quarter and still uh, defecate more money. Um, when I see you again, 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 when I see you again.